Google has issued a formal apology to the Indian government over the unreliable and unverified comments made by its AI platform Gemini concerning Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Minister of State for IT and Electronics Rajiv Chandrasekhar revealed that Google admitted the platform's unreliability and has issued a formal apology in response to a government notice seeking clarification on Gemini's questionable results. Expressing dissatisfaction with Google's admission, the government has also criticized a section of AI platform, including Gemini, for offering consumer solution even during trial phases. The Minister Chandrasekhar voiced concern over India being utilized as a testing ground for AI platforms, facing global criticism for disseminating biased and misinformed results. In response, the government has announced new regulations mandating that AI platform like Gemini must obtain permit from the state to operate in the country. Minister Chandrasekhar has dismissed Google's apology, stressing that the platform's unreliability is indefensible. Asserting that India should not serve as a testing ground for underdeveloped platforms, Minister Chandrasekhar emphasized the need for explicit disclosures to users. He stated that platforms should inform the user about the potential errors, unreliability and the risk of producing unlawful content. The minister also highlighted the legal consequences under the Indian IT law and criminal laws for AI platform operating in India. He noted that the platform cannot use unreliability as a defense against prosecution. Gemini's unverified results have faced severe criticism across the world as they were deemed reckless, irresponsible and disrespectful towards the Indian consumers. The government has vowed to prevent platform from taking Indian digital citizens for granted. In a related move, the government has also issued an advisory for AI-led startups stressing the importance of labeling unverified information as potentially false. This advisory aims to address concern about deepfakes underscoring the government's commitment to regulate AI in the country.